Okay, so we're sat here after an extremely busy, what, three hours, three and a half hours uh, of weightlifting. So the first session I wasn't here for, Nick was filming it, uh, and we had Taiwan turn up again. So Chen Wenhui, who we saw a lot of yesterday, she didn't do a huge amount, it was sort of hip snatches, light lifts, that sort of thing. Chen Pogen, on the other hand, the 96, who is, he's definitely a medal contender in the 96s. Uh, he was, well, he went a little bit heavier. So he worked up in the power snatch to, I think it was 145 kilos, uh, and then the power clean and jerk up to 165 kilos. And he's the guy, I was talking to uh, Essak, who's a guy who's putting on this whole competition. He's a president of the Bahraini Federation and a lot more than that. Uh, and you know he's obviously got Lesman on his team now on his roster. We were just talking about who's going to do well in that category. <coughs> Realistically, it's between Lesman and Artem Antropov from Kazakhstan, and then Chempozhen from Taiwan. And it depends what kind of shape uh, Chempozhen's in because he can snatch 180. It's just whether he can clean the jerk over 210. And realistically, you're going to have to you're going to have to total over 390 kilos to win that category. Anyway, so that's the 90s. Anyway, so that is Taiwan. And then I turned up just in time for these guys, this Team Vietnam, uh, who are sat sort of around right now. Uh, and there's a, a lot of athletes from there. And a lot of them are sort of like junior world champions or whatever that sort of thing. <laughs> We've got the Saudi boys behind us now who have just turned up. We've got Iraq as well in the corner. So it's about to go, it's about to pop up again. A very quick run through of who we saw from Vietnam. So 45 kilo um, Kong Mai Fong, she is the junior world champion, I think from maybe 2019. Uh, we caught her doing some lifts. See you. Uh, and then Lai Jia Tan is the junior world champion. He's the men's 55. He worked up to, I think it's some like 90 kilo power snatches. She's the 45 kilo. Um, yeah, he worked up to about 90 kilos in the power snatch. Uh, and then the big session from Vietnam really was from the 61, Tuan An Ryan, who I, I won, what did he snatch to? 100? He, he front squatted first. Doubles at 140, 180. then 160, then he took a single at 180, a few singles at 180. Then he power snatched up to maybe 100. Yeah. Then he did clean and jerked, powers up to 120, snatch balls up to 160. Um, so there's a lot going on. And now. <laughs> All of a sudden, Iraq's here, the audio park, I can see 120 on the bar right now. Uh, Saudi Arabia's here, and we know the Saudi boys are going heavy, so we're gonna have to, uh, well, thank God we have three cameras. But it's not a lot of work to do. So I think that's it. I, we were able to hand out a few t-shirts to uh, Team Vietnam, which is nice. Uh, some thumb tape to, who was here? Malaysia. Malaysia, we haven't spoken about Oh yeah, the two Commonwealth Games champs. Yeah. What categories? Uh, 55 and 61. 55 and 61. Commonwealth Games champs were here. We've got some of them as well, so you're probably seeing that right now. So it's been extremely hectic. Yesterday was full on. Today is going to be significantly more full on. Uh, so, yeah, we get back to it. Alright, that was easily probably the most hectic we've been. It feels like it gets more and more every time. So since I last saw you, the Saudi boys came in. Uh, we had our boy Mansour, who's the 55. He went 100 for a double in the snatch, 120 kilos in the clean and jerk, which not bad for 55. It was his last um, heavy-ish day, I guess. Uh, and then his heavier teammate, Siraj, uh, snatched 120 kilos, clean and jerk to 140 kilos. And then the rest of the Saudi Arabian team also went heavy. Uh, 
Um, and then things really began to kick off. So at the exact same time, we had the Indonesian team, which includes uh, Rizky Janusia, who is just there uh, in the white. I spent a lot of time filming him and talking to him. He's a really nice guy, actually. Uh, speaks English well, knows weightlifting house. Um, he's actually got our elite straps and our thumb tape as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, gave him that during this session. So he lifted. At that same time, Gorman Asin turned up, as did Lesman Fredes. So I stuck with Rizky. He snatched up to 140 kilos. Remember, he's a 73 who might make an attempt at a world record in the clean jack. We don't know, but we'll see. He snatched up to 140 kilos, looked really easy. He's got an air of confidence around him as well that comes just, you can tell like everybody got in their training kit. He stayed in like his tracksuit, he had his tracksuit bottoms on. You kind of do that when you're feeding yourself a little bit. So he snatched up to 140, then he clean and jerked up to 180, which is big. I mean, that's over 90% of the world record. He did it on the first attempt and he caught the clean. It was a little bit, he just didn't get a nice bounce. And then he took it again, so he made it two times. The second time was even nicer. He's strict pressing 60 right now. I don't know if you want to show that. Um, so that was it, and then he back squatted up to like 215. <laughs> Gorman Ashian, I went up and I asked him because there was so much going on. I just figured I got to ask what's happening so that I know whether to film. And his coach said that he was snatching heavy. Gore just kind of grunted as he does. Uh, his coach, his Armenian coach, even though he's now from Bahrain, said that he was going to snatch heavy. So he worked up to 200 kilos, which is the first 200 kilo snatch we've seen in the training hall. Probably the only one we'll see in the training hall. Um, but that's massive. I mean, that's, again, that's over 90% of a world record. Uh, he then bat squatted up to 260-ish. Did some snatch pulls at 230. <laughs> And then Lesman didn't do much. I, I get the idea that he's he's a two-a-day type of trainer. So he just came in, did his back extensions as normal. Strict pressed up to 110 for a, a few doubles, which is decent. Um, and then push pressed, I want to say up to 140, something like that, uh, just to get the shoulders working. I imagine he's going to come in later and he's going to clean and jerk, probably. Because he did front squats and snatches yesterday. So push press and clean and jerk later, I guess. Probably somewhere around 180, 190. Um, who knows? I'm kind of hoping he doesn't come back in so that we don't have to do. Like, he's not going to turn up to like 8 p.m. and we've got so much footage to edit up. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it. A uh, quick reminder as well, by the way, product of the day is our nation t shirts. So if you want to get a country t shirt, we've got, we have so many, I can't remember off the top of my head. If you want to pick one of those up, uh, I'll put a link to that down below. And of course, if you want to watch all of these incredible athletes competing live and undermined, if you want to see whether Rizky, who, as we now know, does abs, uh, if we want to see him uh, potentially try and break the clean and jerk world record, then you've got to click the link down below. It's live and undermined. By the way, that's his mum and that's his dad. And they come and they train with him. Uh, and his uncle's here as well. So the full Indonesian family is around him. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hopefully we can have a break because it's 3 p.m. and we need to eat some lunch. Uh, but no doubt we'll have some more good athletes back in a few minutes. So we'll see you soon.